What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I uh, just bought this coffee press. I love having uh, French presses at my house. They make a great cup of coffee, and you can kind of brew them to any strength you want when you have a French press. And I have a few of them, but it's always kind of nice to make a French press available for each individual coffee drinker, especially if you're like my boy Chris Mahoney, and you just drink coffee like it is your job. Here's the manual. I think you all know how to use these, but I thought I would check this one out because it seems like it's pretty modern you know, uh, kind of a nice hybrid construction. Looks like we get a couple of extra screens in here, at least two of them, as far as I can tell. Yeah, two extra screens. And we get a very nice looking French press container here. I really like that. It's like all a polymer plastic here, which is great for not transferring a lot of heat, especially look at how big this handle is. You can pick this thing up wearing mittens, um, but nice, uh, big graspy area for uh, being able to leverage what it looks like a pretty large I guess it's an eight cup 125 milliliter capacity uh, pitcher and then I just like this kind of spiderized you know organic looking wrap around uh, harness um, the inside here is is glass I don't know if that is detachable from the uh, the container here it does not appear to be I don't want to break it either so I would think you could just put this whole thing in your dishwasher. And then looks like we also have a measuring spoon right here. Seven grams, 0.25 ounces per cup, depending on how many you want, which is kind of nice. Well, I think a lot of us just ballpark that. We have a polymer cover here, metal post with a polymer handle. And so this is your plunger and you would push this all the way down. And the arrow right here shows where the screen is. So you'll line that up when you're pouring it out. And you can see how much deeper it is here uh, where the screen is but also help prevent any big particulate from getting into your cup of coffee and then you can see here we have two screens already attached between the plates the bottom plate is kind of a three spoke plate and then the top plate has a bunch of holes in it with a spring that kind of pushes these edges out against the glass so when it's in here and you're pressing down and you're pressing your coffee grounds out of the way to the bottom you don't get them Kind of slipping around the edge here um, if i put this in here you've got nice good pressure against the glass so kind of a nice french press and then all the way down and get a little bit of space in there where you can still get a little circulation and then you would just turn this close it off to keep the heat or turn it there and pour yourself a cup of coffee so let's try it out and make ourselves some gel All right, I've let this seep here. The really nice thing about uh, the French presses is you can let it seep however long you want. Want a strong cup of coffee, let it seep a long time. If you want a little bit of a lighter, smoother cup, like I do, um, I don't let it seep at all. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, my Silent or Smooth Black Rifle Coffee Company here. Coffee is uh, what I choose and prefer. And I'm just gonna rotate it there. I'm gonna pour myself a cup of hot joe and see how this is out of this French press. Wow, that is delicious. That is absolutely delicious. Um, Black Rifle Coffee, delicious. Uh, in the French press, I can make it however I want. You saw how simple that is. And you know, I can have multiple cups here at the ready for me to enjoy. Mmm, delicious. If you wanna pick one of these up, just follow the link in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.